Uh, Marty has been wanting to make it for uh, 30 years, and um, I think, uh, I'm, and I'm really grateful it took him that long, even though it must have been very painful for him, um, because it means that I, I was the person that ultimately got to go on the journey with him. Um, he, I, I had heard, I had heard that he wanted to make the film, turn this book into a film, and um, I had got sent the script, and um, I was asked if I would audition and and meet with him, and I, I, and I hadn't had an audition for a while, um, which was really great that he wanted to audition for the for the role. Um, it was it was heartening and reassuring because it meant that he was. He, he was going to do his due diligence and make sure that this was the right fit. Yeah, I think a bunch of us, or there was a bunch of us that ended up reading for, for him. And it was in his office in, 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 in the city and we, we read a bunch of scenes and he was very lighthearted and fun and jovial about it. We were doing these very intense scenes and a really great actor was reading off camera, Michael Stuhlbarg, who's just this great, great um, actor. And we... Um, it was about two or three hours. We, we read a bunch of scenes and talked and with the casting director, and it was it was a really just a wonderful process. And then and then he, he he asked me if I wanted to do it, and I said, well, well, I mean, yes. <laughs> there's no there's there's no other option. You know, it's a passion project, and it's such a you don't often get to tell these kinds of stories in cinema. It is a passion project for Marty, and it did become a passion project for me by proxy. And not only because obviously he is who he is and he is such a master and he is such a, um, you know, a, a gift himself to storytelling, to cinema itself. He is the high priest of cinema, you know. Um, so, so in that regard, it was very easy for me to de devote myself to, to his vision and to what he had, has been longing for. And then of course, and then secondarily, I, I fell into, I fell in love with the story. This film was, will surprise people because even though you can feel it's a Martin Scorsese film, it feels like a new type of Martin Scorsese film. It feels like it, he's transcended himself and he's made something that, that transcends his own name in some way. There's something deeply mysterious about it. Um, not unlike how I felt watching Kundun, um, there was, Deep, something deeply devotional, reverent, and um, multi-layered about about the way he's told this story. I think it's um, it'll indirectly. Um, I, I believe in the responses so far, people are, are being um, are coming out of the, coming out of seeing it very shaken, um, in a really positive way, and are left questioning themselves questioning their own life, faith in their own life, questioning what is required of them in this life. Um, deep, big existential questions. Silence is the story of two Jesuit priests in um, the 1600s from Portugal who are on a mission in Japan to find their old mentor and teacher, Father Ferreira, played by Liam Neeson. And um, it's a double mission. One is to find um, their, their mentor, and the other is to keep the flame of Christianity burning and alight in this country that is, has, all, has outlawed Christianity. The locations were, were epic unto themselves, the, the nature that the characters find themselves in, and, and then Dante Ferretti, uh, the production designer, built Macau Harbor in the middle of Taiwan. He built Japanese marketplaces of 1600s. You know, the detail and the research that went into all these things is just unbelievable. Um, and, then, and then Rodrigo just shot it so beautifully, the Rodrigo Prieto. Um, and, and, um, and yeah, physically it was very demanding. First of all, Adam and myself and Liam, we, we, we had to lose a lot of weight to be starving priests in, um, in you know, in an outlawed Christian Japan. Um, so that was a big physical toll. The cast that Marty put together is unbelievable. Um, 
uh, starting with Adam and, and Kieran, um, you know, a Adam is such a, an instinctive actor and such a unique actor and um, play playful and um, in the moment and unpredictable and spontaneous and um, and I and I love him and I think that's very important for, for that both of us loved each other as much as we possibly could and you know kind of brothers in arms him having been a marine I think there was something very uh, I found fascinating about talking to him about that and about the bond that he had with his fellow soldiers and you know, in walking into possible, you know, deadly circumstances together, and what that does to the nature of a, of a friendship, a relationship. It's a thriller of a film, um, and it's dealing with, with themes that are deeply human, and it's unlike anything, I think, I've ever seen on a cinema screen. I think it's a landmark film for Scorsese, and I think he's transcended himself with this film and I have never I have never seen a film like this